All right. This is grandfather. Now, something's happening for some of you, and it will happen for more of you very soon. And that's that you'll be letting go of images. These are not recollections exactly, because sometimes the images will be from movies or from what you've imagined reading books or listening to the radio or even imagined listening to people talk. But for some of you, some of these images will be from things you've actually seen or participated in or had happen around you or even to you. Now, most of the time this will come up when you're either sleeping or it will come up when you're sleepy. So be careful when you're driving because if you drive when you're really sleepy, you might get these images that pop up into your mind. They will not be anything other than what I mentioned, meaning it will not be something that is completely foreign and strange to you for which you have absolutely no exposure. It will only be the type of thing I mentioned. And it's not meant, for those of you who look for meaning behind these things, it's not meant for you to examine and go over and over. It's not even meant for you to go over it once. This is your body releasing memories, even fantasies, or things you've imagined, and it is meant to just be letting go of them. So, I'm going to recommend something else. If you have some of these images, especially if you've woken up from an unsettling dream, or if you've had these experiences of these images popping up and it's just disturbing, when you get time for yourself, the quietest time you can have, and don't wait for it, do it soon so that it doesn't disturb you or make you worry, this is what to do. First ask for all the most uh, benevolent energies. Yeah? So you're going to say, I am asking that all the most benevolent energies that are available for me be all around me and all about me now. Wait a few seconds. For those of you who feel an energy come up, wait until it fades a bit. And then say this. And you say these things out loud, okay? But if you prefer, you can whisper them. Either one. The reason we say them out loud is because this way your body knows, your physical reality knows, your angels and your guides know that this is something you want to happen in your physical life. All right, what you're requesting. So, the next thing you say is, I am asking that gold light beings and light beings who are compatible and comfortable with the gold light come now and clear me of these images and their sources so that I may be at peace and calm and comfortable with myself. Just sit there. It'll probably take 20 or 30 minutes. If you were laying down, that's fine. If you were laying down, don't cross your arms or your legs. Same thing if you're sitting. So this is probably not something you should do on the bus or on the train. It's best to do when you're on your own or at least if you can be alone for as long as this takes. All right? It's a way of requesting these beings who will come and help to clear you, not only of the images, but of the reason you have the images. So be aware that you might cease to recall some things. If you want to recall the movies they were in, then 
you'll have to say something different. But for many of you, you'll be happy to see these images go because they may be upsetting. It's important to understand that there's a reason going on for this, and I'll tell you the reason. Many of you do not think of these images, even things that you've imagined in the past, or things that you've seen in a movie and have completely forgotten, but it builds up in your body and gives you tension. There's enough things to give you tension now in your day-to-day -day life. You don't need something hidden to do that as well. All right. For some of you who work in the police force or in the military, even you will have forgotten some of these things. And you don't need to have any extra tension either. So I just thought I'd tell you about this because this is something you can do. For those of you who want to do it in a true magic f form, you know by now how to do true magic. And I'll let you just figure out what to say. Time has come to trust you to do these things and go out on the land and do it in the way you've been taught here on uh, this site and uh, on the Britain blogs. All right. That's what I recommend. Remember, this is more than a prediction because for some of you, it's already begun. And this, what I've said, is what it's about. Good life.